hello loves welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about Osset. i am going to be redoing a video that i did quite a bit ago but i wanted to add more information for y'all so that's what we're going to be doing today now before i get started i do have to mention because i want to do a series on comedic spirituality and i'm going to break down each of the nets ruse for you guys i I have to mention this because it's really, really important. Within the comedic spirituality community, um, there is a sect of the group that is very much um, a cult. Uh, and so if you're wanting to work with the comedic spirits, uh, keep in mind that there there is a cult group. Um, I'm not going to mention them or say who they are, what they do, or okay um but it's just it's really important to understand that you know when you're looking for information to make sure you know where you're getting it from and you know you know the narrative that some people are trying to portray um the other note that i'm going to say is that there is a difference between ancient egyptian ancient comedic uh spiritual practices um because it was before a closed practice there was initiations that would happen um but today in a modern sense because you know there is not well <laughs> there is not like a, a set direct open kind of temple for people to go in and different high priests and priestesses um to work with specifically uh everything is a little bit as far as your practice and your you know how you work with the Naturus, uh it is a little bit different it's, and it's not seen as a closed practice per se um because i personally don't think that anybody alive today knows how to do the initiations unless you access it through the akashic records um and that would only you can only access that information if you were an actual high priest or priestess uh in a past life because those things are kept you know a little bit closed up there um so yeah there's only a couple of ways to retain that information i uh, one of my past lives is actually i was a high priestess in um ancient kemet and i was actually one of the uh teachers i would teach others uh, about the spiritual practice itself um so there's different layers and i go into the culture records all the time and i access different information depending on what it is that i'm trying to do but i'm just going to give you guys a basic overview of how to work with offset and um you know some of her offerings and different things that you can use to work with her okay um now where do I start first? Let's start with I get let's start with offerings. Okay, let's start with offerings. If you see me looking down, it's because I wrote down everything in the list because I didn't want to forget anything. Um, so when it comes to offerings, I like to do a lot of the uh plant medicine that was done um back in the day. So before we get started, Osset is seen as the mother Netaru. She is the one that is also the highest ranking of all of the netters with when it comes to um spiritual powers and abilities when it comes to i don't want to say witchcraft is more of spiritual power um and manifestation she is really 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 good with healing work she is really really good with um empowerment work and this is why i personally work with her and i've mentioned this before i work with her um at to work on my spiritual development she's really amazing and supportive when it comes to building up yourself your spiritual practice and giving you a spiritual foundation to build on she's just amazing um and she is very very nurturing and supportive because she does carry that mother energy um she is also seen as the mother of all pharaohs as well and she has um she is connected to the cow, the scorpions, um, snakes specifically, cobras as well, um, and in modern times, hawks as well. She's also connected to those, but in ancient times, cows, snakes, um, and scorpions were also animals that she would use to 
manifest um, because there are animal correspondences with our set um, as well as she would work with the animal energies this is why when it comes to our set you can use milk um, when you're doing certain spell work and I'm going to do a uh, breakdown a couple of like like a video series on different types of workings that you can do with each of the naturus uh, so that way you have a little bit of a, of a foundation but milk um, can be used both as an offering and within spell work um, jasmine okay jasmine love 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 jasmine um frankincense and mirth both of these so frankincense all, in general and mirth both of those are just full blanket like open neutral for every single natural that you might want to work with so segment ma'at all of them what all of them okay haru all of them you can use frankincense and mirth because frankincense and mirth is like it's a very neutral uh spiritual tool and it makes spaces holy it makes them uh it raises the vibration of the um like the temple the room the space uh it basically works to consecrate the space to make it a place of higher vibration so that you can do your spiritual work which is why it was always you know lit up and smoked through the temples before any rituals would take place so this if you're not using frankincense and mirth you need to i recommend using it um in its resin form uh, but it is modern times it is like personally i recommend using it in the re resin form that's where you're gonna get like the pure you know um smoke and the that connection to it but if you do not have you know you cannot find it for whatever reason even though it's in like every botanica it's like very easily accessible you can go to like different markets to get it as well um you can also use um the frankincense and mirth in incense form i don't like this one as much as this one okay um but depending where i am i might just bring this one because it's easier to light um if like let's say i'm trying to do a, a ritual outside for some reason um i might do it that way uh the other one that i like to use is um egyptian jasmine and lotus those they love those uh especially i'll say um that this one and, a, and the lotus one they're just they just smell so clean and the the vibration of them is just really very like it's it has that like love vibration but jasmine specifically it is very how do i describe the vibration of jasmine it is very it's like a it's a high peak vibrational herb it is very um it's very cleansing spiritually and it's something a lot of people don't notice because they use it more for the like love properties but it has a very like elevating love kind of energy about it so this is one of the reasons why they really like it when i bring that for them um offset as well um you can use honey okay honey is also something that is used as well as cinnamon which is one of her favorite herbs spices um and can be used medicinally for so many different things um and that's one of the things that i want you guys to understand about when it comes to looking at different offerings and different things that you you can use you should be learning the properties and the plant medicine of you know how it was used back in the day because a lot of the healing work that took place um and the properties and the medicines of it plant medicine is not just a you know oh this is like medicine as in doctors and just stuff like that there's also spiritual properties to these things so you should learn what you know what plant medicines were active during that time so then you when you need to craft the specific you know working or you're trying to put um something together whether it be an offering whether it be you're trying to you know focus on a specific like petition or something like that you're gonna want to know what you're using and what they like okay if you don't know what they like then it's just gonna make it a little bit more difficult um i have like a whole list uh roses are also something very very sacred um and that can be used as offerings and both in spell work for different it really depends on what it is um but roses are very high vibrational as well as cannabis okay cannabis was also an herb that was used uh, both for medicinal and ceremonial practices which means that yeah if you are actively just smoking the smoke randomly 
you're doing the thing wrong um okay because this is one of the the herbs that was that was used within ceremony not only to you know connect to the nets ruse uh but also to um get visions for different things so it, it really depends on how you're using it and working with it uh vervain is another one that is used um i have the leaves here and you can use this for so many different things um especially when it comes for to altar work um because there's just so many different ways that you know you can work with it you can make this um into a tea put some you know depending on you know how, how you want to use it you can put a little bit of like witch hazel or even like a little bit of white vinegar because vinegar was also something that was used in ancient times for different things including plant medicine um but you can put you can make a tea from this make a little put a little bit of um vinegar white vinegar in there and then just to preserve it and then you can use that as your base to cleanse your altars i'm gonna make a video on that separately so i can show y'all how to do that so that way you're not all lost and confused um juniper berries were also um one of the herbs that was used in ancient egypt and you can use it for so many different things um but there's a lot of properties in relation to juniper especially when it comes to protection work so juniper uh can be used as an offering or as when you're crafting um specific spells um mint where did i put the mint mint was also something that was used um and so Again, you, you should look at all the properties to all these things so that way you know um, kind of how to put different things together, especially if you're trying to figure out what herbs can you use that were used during that time. Um, so yeah, those are some of the herbs. I um, wanted to mention a couple of other ones. Uh, dates um, can be used as an offering. Onions can be used as an offering. Um, do, 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 Figs can be used as an offering as well. They, really likes figs um do, 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 do. um i said dates already um wait i keep saying osiris in my head so i can't pronounce this but oris 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 root i keep saying that wrong because i'm trying to say osiris i'm sorry y'all but that one is also um one of the ones that you can use both in spell work and as an offering for our set um now candle and candle colors so i like to do um a couple of different colors for offset um i like to do more orange than red because red i like it's more segment um but I, you can also use red for offset um she really really loves blue though blue is the one that i end up using and working with her the most with um and blue has that property of like clarity um and it does have that it has an elevation kind of quality you can also use the white candle obviously and yellow is another one that you can use as well but blue um i've noticed over the years of me working with her is her favorite one um and i'm not surprised because her other like her favorite crystal is lapis lazuli uh, the two crystals that you i recommend you work with all set with are quartz okay quartz are actually very neutral for again every natural and we're gonna go over all of that but quartz are very neutral and um there were specific rituals that were done with clear quartz as well but lapis lazuli is all sets 1000 percent favorite crystal <laughs> like period um and it makes sense because the properties of lapis lazuli helps with um the work within your third eye um as well as your throat um and it helps to clear up the way up here so that you can see better so you can do a whole entire like cannabis lapis lazuli ritual to help open up your third eye like there's so many different ways to kind of work with it but i'm just gonna say that and just put that in y'all head um did i mention the honey i'm pretty sure i mentioned the honey i'm pretty sure i mentioned the honey but you can use honey um now when it comes to the candles y'all know if you have gone to my website that i already made my own um offset oil because i wanted to have one that i could just work with her in and there's a reason that's just also the same reason why the bottle is blue because that's a color that 
I happen to notice that she really likes the most. So I made my own offset oil and it says on the bottle, spiritual growth, nourishment and power because she is very, very big on empowerment and self empowerment and you can do a lot of work with her with that. So I like to anoint the candle and if you wanted to fix it, you can use some of the herbs there and you know, go go from there um, and setting your kind of petition and stuff like that. Um, one of the things that I will note though um you can use this because oils themselves were a form of divination i'm gonna cover that in a separate video um and you can also and also not work i was also used in rituals and i'm gonna cover that in a separate video because i feel like those need like dedicated videos but there's different forms of divination that were done back in the day um and so oils was a big part of it but that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make an oil specifically so I can use it with her but also I can use this to anoint myself um for those specific properties um during the day and that's kind of what I do I like you know put it in my hair I put it on my third eye I'm going to do a meditation I will kind of um rub it on myself depending it really depends on what I'm trying to do um if I'm doing I, I can that's like a separate video, but I can feel like that's going to be a Patreon video because there is like a, a, how do I say it without not getting demonetized, Demo demonetized. Yeah. Um, there's like this, uh, specific ritual that I like to do with my upper regions and the oil itself, uh, for like heart healing and stuff like that, that I can show you guys, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that on YouTube. We'll, we'll see. It might have to be a patron only video. We will see. Cause that's a little bit, you know x-rated oh my god y'all look it's a ladybug y'all see that a ladybug just landed on my my cinnamon Aww. and it's an orange ladybug it's like an orangey ladybug that's so cute okay anyway let me just finish up because i know i'm talking a lot um for divination um again we're gonna cover those in specific dedicated videos but as far as the different decks that i like to use to work with you know, I'll set and get messages directly. I like to use the Tower of Net Nefertiti. I know I said in that past video that I haven't found a good, you know, deck that I specifically like working with her with, but this one is actually the best one that I've found. And it's, I feel like in part of it is the gold because gold, by the way, can also be used as an offering um, for offset. Um, and you can also wear gold as well and get some like a gold piece or something and, and anoint that um, and enchant that for protection or for whatever it is, for empowerment, for spiritual growth, whatever it is, and just wear it. Um, that's something that you can also do. I have, where is my, oh, yeah, we talked about lapis lazuli. I have it in necklace form. This is one of the, the ones that I personally like to wear uh, when I am doing a lot of work when it comes to my third eye or building... Um, a specific um like if I'm trying to build some like there's something that I'm working on I can't really specify what it is because I've used it for so many different things but when I'm working on something whether it be a project or something and I'm trying to very get very clear messages on how it's supposed to go down I like to use that I also like to use the uh clear quartz pyramids um these are really good to meditate especially just to take outside these are really good but the one I'm going to mention even though jade is not ancient Egyptian or ancient Kemetic specifically as a crystal, but the scarab is also something that I like to use to work with offset. Um, now, when it comes to the Tarot of Nefertiti, it's in part the gold. It's in part the gold, but I also really like the way that they did the deck. It is very, very just beautiful. Um, and it's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful deck. Like they did a really, really, really good job putting it together. So I like to use this a lot when I'm working with a set or any of the N Nezru's. Um, it is my favorite one. I'm going to have it linked down below if you would like to get it. Um, personally speaking. Um, so keep that in mind. Oh, I forgot to mention this earlier. When it comes to the animal correspondences, pay attention when it comes to dream work because Asset likes to send a lot of like animals during dream work and a lot of it like goes over your head if you're not really paying attention. Um, snakes are a big way that I personally work with her and because I also work with Santa Marta La Dominadora and she has her specific snakes, um, so her specific snake that she works with, um, when I always have to discern who I'm getting the message from because I obviously have other, you know, 
spirits that I work with that also work with snakes. So pay attention to the type of snakes that are or like the type of animal that is coming in um because if it is a snake there are different types of snakes if it's a if it's a cobra then obviously and if you just started working with Aset, then obviously you know but if you happen to have other spirits that come up as snakes as well you need to have that discernment so just keep that in mind when it comes to working with animals because that happens to me quite often now the other two that i well the one um that i mentioned in the last video i'm going to mention again this is the isis oracle um oh my god it flew on my leg it's just on my thigh oh my god oh my god it's walking and it's tickling the hell out of me hold on i'm gonna have to hold on it's tip. Oh my god, it keeps jumping on me. Babe, 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 babe. <laughs> my babe is just shaking her head right now. Stay babe. In the plant you. Babe. Oh, okay. Stay in the plant. Stay in the palm. Did it go? No, baby, it's not going. Okay. Okay, it's in a natural and in, in habitat. I just hope it doesn't jump on my face because that's just going to be funny. Anyway, ladybugs today. That message wasn't just for me. It was for you. Go look it up. Um, okay, so the Isis Oracle. Really, really, really quickly. This is something that you can use if you are a beginner. There are rituals to every single card. If you get the small one, you're not going to get the ritual stuff. Um, if you get the big one, there's a book in there and the deck is just this deck is so big i don't know why I, I don't i don't know why she did that unfortunately the deck is super big and unnecessarily big i should add and it's just it's not my favorite one um because it's just so 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 big i personally feel like this oracle deck doesn't go deep enough personally speaking and I've mentioned this before but you can use this for messages daily messages and especially when it comes to your spiritual growth this deck is to be used specifically for spiritual growth it shouldn't be used for like oh you're trying to do a love reading and stuff like that because it's not gonna hit it's not gonna hit the, the way that you want it to um so for example each deck it pretty much has like an essay for each deck um and then right after the essay um that you get there is a ritual for each card so you can um follow that and there's a lot of meditations in here if you wanted to use it that way um however this is a modern nines version of working with offset it is not necessarily historically accurate so i just wanted to just keep that in mind <laughs> just keep that in mind um just keep that in mind um but the pocket version is the one that i personally like to use regularly speaking just because it's easier to shuffle it's just the deck is just too big for me um okay so boom, let me put this over here okay so things that i personally recommend it was part of the practice to write things down in comedic times um even though there was oral tradition yes but you should also have some sort of journal to make sure that you're writing things down like oh i burnt this and this happened or this these are the offerings and just to have and build that practice and relationship once you start writing stuff down and you notice that certain things or even certain meditations that you might want to redo write those things down write those dreams down where the cobras showed up showed up or the scorpions showed up in whatever way write those things down that way you don't lose that information because comedic spirituality again it is there's there's an essence of mysteriousness because it's so ancient um but a lot of it you can access subconsciously especially if you have already had past lives there um which i happens not all of the time but it does happen because i do past life readings for people and that it does come up that they do have a past life in ancient egypt now when it comes to ritual work this is the book that i'm going to recommend and again all of these things that i'm going to link down below so you guys can do the thing but the book of coming forth by day okay the egyptian book of the dead is absolutely probably one of the most important books um period because not only does it have a lot of direction but it also has a lot of rituals in here so you should be paying attention to and knowing and reading this book it applies to um pretty much all of the natures but also aset because aset does a lot of work with the dead um obviously <laughs> as per her most popular um story right uh does a lot of work with the dead 
and can be used for like nec necromancy work as well don't even, don't get me started but can be used again i'm trying to keep this video like very like you know if you're just starting to try to work with offset um but can be used for necromancy work can be again it's about power um and she is known as the most powerful one uh, as far as spiritual practices and you know manifestation i'm just saying so this one you're gonna need 1000 percent um the ne next one that i'm gonna recommend is the last one i'm gonna recommend is speaking with spirit and i recommended this the last one last time and i'm gonna recommend it again because it is absolutely i feel like necessary when it comes to prayers speaking with spirit um is a book written by the Briseki arts temple um and they basically wrote a whole entire prayer book for different african spirits it doesn't have all of the tribal spirits okay from every single tribe in africa this book is not that thick okay it's not that thick don't expect that but um there are uh different comedic prayers in here including for a set so if you didn't know how to kind of you know put together a prayer you can do so in here uh with with this book as well um so boom i think that was it i think that was generally everything that i needed to cover as far as like offerings um how to work with her um different you know kind of workings that you can do i am gonna cover um how i fix some of my like candles and stuff for offset in a different video as well as some of the other um practices when it comes to divination uh oil divin divination um not work uh, different other types of divination uh that are comedic in nature on just originate there and yeah we're gonna dive into it at a later you know time but i just wanted to do this video again for y'all so that way you have a good foundation anyway i will see y'all in the next video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and yeah let me know in the comments how you work with offset maybe we can add to the list and i will see you in the rest of the series i love you guys so much